video, I'm going to show you how to draw this awesome shark. Da -na 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 -na. So get ready for our next class. Ding. Good morning, my most amazing artists. Are you ready to create today? I am Teacher Liani from Art in English. And today's lesson, we're going to be exploring everything around in the ocean and all the things that live in the ocean. To get started, I want to start off with our elements of art. But first, one, look, two, listen, and three, get ready. Can you do that? Good. Okay, let's get started. The elements of art is something that we use to create our art. So let's get started with that. The elements of art. So the first one. Line, color, baby, color, shape, texture, value, value, dark to light, and space. And then, of course, we like to add some tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny bit of ingredients. Of course, just like art, it's just like baking a cake. And of course, when you bake a cake, you not you like to add something that makes it taste sweet or taste good or taste delicious or salty, whichever way. We call that the spices. So in this case, in art, we call that the principles of art. And they are balance, movement, 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 rhythm, 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 pattern, 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 emphasis, contrast. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let's get started. Now for today's lesson, I'm going to be exploring a story called Nugget and Fay. Today's story is a cool, it's called Nugget and Fay. And it's about a shark and a little friend, little fish, that are best friends. I'm going to read the story to you first. Get ready to listen up to the story. All right, boys and girls, let's get ready. I want you to find a nice, quiet place to sit down and let's listen to the story. It's called Nugget and Fat. Friends forever. In the deep, deep ocean lived two best friends, Nugget and Fan. They did everything together. They swam over. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They swam under. Gluk, gluk, gluk. They swam all around. Gluk, gluk, gluk. Life was close to perfect. Until it was time for Nugget to go to school. On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is about three little menus and a big bad shark. A big bad shark? Ha! said Nugget. Impossible. Nugget was busy with math. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. But what if there were ten minnows and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minnows are left? Is this a trick question? A shark would never do that, said Nugget. And Nugget was busy with Science. Sharks are scary. Here's the proof. Ta -da! Ooh, the stuff on that poster isn't true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. Sharks, have you lost your gills? Sharks and bananas can't be friends. Hello, sharks eat bananas. Nugget was shocked. 
and apparently delicious. That afternoon, Nugget explained it all to Fan. Sharks are toothy. Sharks are scary. Sharks and the nose can't be friends. Sounds fishy to me, said Fan. It's true. See? Nugget held up his chest. Then he swam far, far away. Fang's heart sank. There was nothing he could do about being toothy, but he needed his best buddy back. He had to prove he wasn't scary. On Tuesday, Minnie Minos had a surprise visitor, a very big surprise visitor. The visitor gave Nugget his friendliest smile. I'm my elder, said Nugget. It's Fang. On Wednesday, Fang tried a different approach. Dear Nugget, I'd love to have you over for dinner. Sincerely, Fang. He wants to eat you for dinner. Honey mackerel, said Nugget. On Thursday, Fan tried everything he could think of. A tattoo, a special delivery, you're fantastic. A song, la la la, and a dance. But nothing worked. On Friday, Fan was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over. Blub. He swam under. Blub. He swam all around, blood, blood, flop. Life was not even close to perfect. Fang was so busy, boohooing, he didn't notice a net drop. <laughs> down, 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 right on the mini minos. on a coffee table or on a table. Let's get everything ready. So you need a piece of paper. You will need your pastels or your crayons, okay? You will need a paintbrush. Da -na 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 -na. And you will need a cup of water. You will also need your paint sticks, okay? Now I got this kind of brand of paint stick. You can choose another brand. So I'm gonna put these in here. And last but not least, make sure that you have something to wipe up your fingers or your hands. Make sure that you have a tissue or a wet wipe. Okay, so let's get started with our picture. 
So now I'm going to have my picture the horizontal side, okay? So I'm going to fold my paper like this in half, okay? Like a book. And you might want to rub it down like this. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to open it. Okay, so now you have two sides. You have a left side and you have a right side. So we're going to start drawing a shark on the right side. Now I want to start off with the mouth. Okay, this is, there's a reason for that. You're going to start off with a nice kind of round shape. Nice big view in the middle. Then you're gonna go down like nice and big, okay? And that's gonna be his toothy smile. So, and then you want to create Fang's body. Okay, so for the drawing, I want you to start with this part here and then go down like that and then draw a line like this, okay? So now what you're going to do next, of course, is create the sharp teeth. So zigzag, 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 zigzag. <laughs> like ha 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 ha. Really sharp teeth. Sharks have sharp teeth, so you kind of want to do a triangle. Then on top, okay, it has a nice pointy fin like that. And then it has a dorsal fin or a side fin kind of going like this and then you can create another one like that off the page now you want to give your shark some eyes okay so you're going to do one eye here like that and another eye here like that and you want to give it some eyebrows like that and of course, very lightly, not too big, you want to show the nose, but not too much. Okay, so now that you've drawn your shark, you might want to draw little Nugget, the fish, his best friend. So on this side, okay, kind of very, fin this position, it looks like the shark and the fish is swimming towards you. So now on this side, you're gonna start kind of like a dot, like that, very little, okay? So it points up, and then you wanna give it a nice smile, but this time no teeth, okay? Then you might wanna give it some eyes, so round dot, round dot. Looks a bit messy, but that's okay. And then you wanna create a fin here, and a fin here, and a fin there, okay? So this one is very small. So you're gonna have one big shark and then you're gonna have one small tiny fish tray. Okay, so now I want to get ready for my colors. So I'm gonna stick with like a nice blue color or you can even do like a gray color if you want to, okay? So I'm gonna go with this color. And you start off with the small shapes first. Okay, and don't color in the mouth just yet. So go around. You may take your crayon or your pastel and go around this side. So he looks kind of like a monster face, but you really want to make him look friendly because he's not that bad. And I have done another lesson on this before with a different kind of shark, but today I want to try this one. Let's do something a little bit different. Okay, now, once you've cut it in that side, you can start with this triangle shape here and cut it in there. 
and this side. Go here. And then you want to color in the thing on top. Okay, so now if you have a light blue pastel, this is called light blue, you want to go over just the top here. So that it blends in nicely. Okay, so mix your colors. Maybe you want to use white, take your white pastel. It's going to get a little bit messy. And you want to go here at the bottom. Just shade it in a little bit. Okay, now your teeth are already white, so you don't need to shade that in. So you're going to take your black pastel and we're going to shade in the mouse. Draw it like that. And do this part. Okay, there we go. And it's done. So your shark is finished. Okay. The next part you want to color in is the fish. So I'm going to go with like a reddish color. Or maybe you could use even a green color if you want to. Okay, so here, let's choose a red color. Shade in that, but leave the mouth here. It's a tiny little mouth. Go. Okay, and the mouth you can use your black pastel to color that in. Okay, now we're done with this part. So, of course, Naked and Fang they live in the ocean. So now, of course, you want to add some of the ocean life or the sea life, marine life. So you can start off with kind of doing different things like that okay and you can give this shape a color here okay you might want to do this now you want to shade it in for 10 seconds so that you don't have a white space. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe you want to create some different kind of coral. So I'm going to start to use my paint sticks, so I'm going to move these closer. So when you use your paint sticks, it's kind of like a very big crown and you only need like a little bit. Remember this is not your mom's lipstick, you don't need a lot. And I want to go over this again here. Okay, so I'm going to try another color. So let's try some purple. Okay, I want to make like purple lines here, going like that. Okay, now one thing I need to remember, the sharks are actually swimming in, the shark and the fish are swimming in water. So I'm going to do this first. I'm going to use my paint stick. Okay. And you only need to roll a little bit. And I'm going to start at the bottom. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, teacher, oh my goodness, blue on blue, I cannot see anything. Just wait. Okay, so you're gonna add just half, just the bottom half, and you'll see why I say that. So make sure that you color in here and there and there. Right, now, when you close your paint stick, make sure that you roll it down a little bit and always remember to hear the, or listen for the click. That way you know it's closed. So now I'm gonna grab my cup of water. Okay. 
okay? And I put it here on the side. And I'm gonna dip my brush in here. And I'm just going to go over the bottom. Now you'll notice like, ooh, all of a sudden it changes to a watercolor. Mm -hmm. That's right. So now it becomes like water. Dip, 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 paint, paint, paint. And the top part is kind of light. Okay. So I want to go over the bottom. Now it doesn't matter if you go over your shark because the oil pastel is kind of like oily and it prevents it from going through. It's resistant. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna cover my whole paper in this blue color. I'm gonna take some blue here and I'm gonna go across like that. And kind of do this like that and do some waves. Okay, now if your paper is too wet, you can take a tissue, okay, and you do that and you dab it. Dab, 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 dab. So wherever it looks very shiny, you can kind of do this. Just dab it. Dab 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 dab
and another little heart. So here it's still very shiny. So I just take that and draw a smaller heart. And a third one, tiny little heart. So three hearts, that's it. And that is your picture for today. Nugget and Sad. Ta da!